are brighter days yet ahead. The county executive is giving his stamp of approval on a school system budget he says will address the immediate and most pressing needs of children. As we work to recover from this crisis, we know that we have an obligation to make the investments necessary to equip our students and educators with the resources they need to stay safe, to make up for lost ground, and to ensure a brighter future for our children. For starters, that means putting more teaching jobs back into the budget, something the teachers' union has been counting on. And I have been getting so many concerned teachers calling and saying, why are we cutting these positions? Our students are going to need even more help after this year of the pandemic. So we were thrilled to hear those positions are going to be restored. In addition to funding 122 teaching positions, the county executive also signed off on the district plan to pay for 35 new school counselors and pupil personnel workers. There are also dollars in the budget to add 15 minutes to the school day and make good on promises to improve staff pay in the form of step increases and mid-year cost of living raises. The county school superintendent says he's eager to put many of those expected dollars to good use by the summer. What I'm focusing in is on our work that we are going to do now through the summer and all through next school year. So this budget will support us with any staffing that we need, any additional support that our students may need. It's all part of an education plan to address district-wide student learning loss. The county executive says he's confident he'll get the support he needs from members of the county council, who, by the way, will have the final word on the budget. In Towson, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.